welcome. Welcome to Bad News. Woo! I'm patient. I'm pretty patient. I've been watching for 11 hours the Benghazi hearings with Hillary Clinton. Oh my God, man. That woman can argue her pantsuit off. I'm telling you. It's, it's, I don't know where she got it from. Is it from being married to Bill for the last 40 years, right? Like, Bill Clinton is the most persuasive man in America. He could talk as cardiologist and go to McDonald's. I swear to God. Like, I mean, hell, he convinced a lesbian to marry him, you know? She went to Wellesley, guys. Their school uniform was a flannel shirt and a tool belt. You know what I mean? Like, their school mascot was the softball team. It's, it's, I'm still, still big on Bernie Sanders. Love that guy, though. Love that guy, man. He's a liberal that's pro-guns. That's like an old Jew that's anti-banker. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know what's up with his posture. Like, what, what, what is that posture? What, what, what? Did he go to the same finishing school as John McCain? Like, I don't know. Is it from years of bending over, Velcroing his orthopedics? I don't really get. Two, uh, two of the Democratic candidates actually have dropped out of the race, which is good, because I would rather listen to Lincoln Park than Lincoln Chafee. <laughs> And I'd rather jump on one of Jim Webb's hand grenades than listen to Lincoln Park. So you see where this is going? This is... Uh, the job you want, though, and the job I want, is to be Bernie Sanders' running mate, right? Be that guy's vice president. They say the vice president is a heartbeat away from power. And if you're Bernie Sanders' running mate, that is a faint, faint heartbeat. <laughs> that guy doesn't need a, a lapel pin. He needs a life alert. You know what I mean? Like, I swear to God, that guy could die if his grandkids don't call. It's like that... Bernie Sanders would actually be our oldest president. I don't know if you knew that. If he got elected, he'd be our oldest president. That guy is so old, he was a 1911 truther. <laughs> All right, enough of these twists. Let's talk tits. As you guys may have heard, Playboy magazine is no longer going to have naked women in the print publication. Isn't that that's crazy, right? Like, I guess after 62 years, it takes more than a few naked chicks to get their circulation up. Uh, I think it's a good thing, though, on the whole, because... Playboy's the reason most men can't find the clit, right? Because they never showed it. I don't like... <laughs> my, my entire life, I thought it was somewhere between the belly button and the bottom of the Daisy Dukes. That's all I just knew. <laughs> it's still weird, though, that Playboy took out the thing that made them famous, right? Like, I don't know. It'd be like Ebony Magazine taking out the black people. Or, <laughs> or Vogue taking out the bulimics. I... I I don't care as long as Highlights Magazine doesn't take out the hidden picture. <laughs> if that happens, I am never going back to the dentist. Fuck that shit. <laughs> so the Supreme Court is back in session. Hold the applause. <laughs> this has been a really blockbuster year for kind of liberal issues and a lot of progressive things for gay and trans rights. And I just find it so weird that the conservatives are going to the Supreme Court right now to overturn these things. Like, only in America would conservatives try to overturn gay rights by talking to six men wearing gowns. You know what I mean? It's... <laughs> I used to not get the Supreme Court. Like, it didn't make sense to me. It seems so nebulous. They're, they're over in Washington. They're appointed for life. It just, it seems so foreign to me. Then I realized that the Supreme Court is just like me and my friends. It's a... Uh, a couple white dudes, one black friend, and a Hispanic lady to clean up the messes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe now to our channel to get all the latest bad news. Also, check out these other videos that we think you may enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Adios.